If you've ever been to the Disney parks in Asia, especially that of Tokyo Disney, I'm sure you've noticed that people especially go crazy for a particularly cute little bear. And though he may be currently found in almost all Disney parks around the world, he was born in Tokyo Disney Sea. And of course, I am talking about Duffy the Disney Bear, which is what this video is going to be all about. And because Duffy is born in Japan, I will be sharing information about him from the perspective of Tokyo Disney Resort. In this video, I'll be sharing with you his origin story or basically how he got started, as well as why he and his friends are so special in the hearts of many. Now, although Duffy's official birthplace is Tokyo Disney Sea, his concept actually originated in America. In 2002, Walt Disney introduced a bear that was simply known as the Disney Bear. And he was specifically made for the promotion of a once upon a toy store in downtown Disney at Walt Disney World. The Disney Bear, as he was known at that time, came in different colors. And unfortunately, the Disney Bear didn't take very well in American markets. But in 2004, Japan decided to take that concept and kind of ran with it. And more importantly, he was rebranded as Duffy and was given an origin story as well. In the following year of 2005, Tokyo Disney Resort recognized Duffy as a regular character. And this is why the Disney bear and Duffy are two separate characters. They are not one of the same. I would say the only thing similar between them is the fact that they share the same concept of being a teddy bear and that they were produced by the Disney company. If you've ever purchased a Duffy plush at the parks, he comes with a storybook tag that tells of his origin. If you're not familiar with what that is, I'll give you a short version of it. So there was one night where Mickey was set to sail on a long voyage, and Minnie thought that she didn't want Mickey to feel so alone on this trip, so she decided to make him a teddy bear. Mickey placed his teddy bear inside his duffel bag, and so the teddy bear came to be known as Duffy. When Mickey received his present, he could feel all the love Minnie had put into making the bear, which is why Duffy is called the bear of happiness and luck. So that's his origin story. You can see how Tokyo Disney Sea rebranded him as an entirely new character. To date, Duffy has five friends. The first being his female counterpart, Shelly Mae. She is like Minnie is to Mickey. The second being the artist Kitty Gelatoni. The third being the ballerina bunny, Stella Lu. Fourth is a Hong Kong exclusive, which is the Baker Cookie, although she is hinted to appear in Tokyo Disney Parks in the future. And finally, an Aulani Resort exclusive, the ukulele playing turtle, Olu. Among those friends, only Duffy, Shelley Mae, Gelatoni, and Stellar Lu find their homes in Tokyo Disney Sea. If you've ever visited the Tokyo Disney Parks, I'm sure you've noticed the difference in how guests take to the Duffy Bear. It's not uncommon to see guests walking around the parks with their plush, or hanging plush keychains off their bags, or even dressing up as them. He has an entire themed area dedicated to him and his friends, and that is the Cape Cod area, which also houses their meet and greet spots, along with a restaurant entirely dedicated to their souvenirs, and a live show. Duffy and friends are so integral to the parks that they are incorporated in almost all the live seasonal shows, and they often have their own separate merchandise line when it comes to the seasonal events. Because why not? They totally can, and their popularity constantly sells out this merchandise. You can also find two shops entirely dedicated to Duffy and Friends merchandise. That is Aunt Peg's in the Cape Cod area, and McDuck's department store in American Waterfront. And believe it or not, Duffy and Friends are an integrated part of the Tokyo Disney Sea experience. And what I mean by that is there are dedicated photo spots in various locations scattered across the park so that guests can prop up their Duffy and Friends plush and take a photo of the scenery with them. How the Japanese express their love to Duffy and Friends can be seen in how they fashion or make their own costumes for the plush to wear, and posing with them in their photos. I guess you could say that Duffy is to Disney Sea as Figment is to Epcot. He is a beloved representation of Tokyo Disney Sea. Basically, guests show their love of the parks through the love of the bear. Duffy and Friends were never considered a marketing ploy. Duffy and Friends are enjoyed by Japanese fans as being their travel buddy throughout the parks, which is why you'll often find them being proudly carried by many guests. Duffy and Friends are so well loved and fully embraced by the Japanese. I would even say that Duffy is arguably bigger than Mickey himself in Tokyo Disney Sea. You might have to go to see this and experience this firsthand, but I can personally tell you that the love for Duffy and Friends brings a sort of 
unique energy to the parks, and you can't help but feel like you also want to be a part of it. You could say that to truly experience Tokyo Disney Sea, you pretty much gotta get a Duffy and Friends plush. They are easily not only a cultural phenomenon, but a park phenomenon. To be a part of that experience, especially at Tokyo Disney Sea, is so unique. It's really, truly something you'll just have to experience for yourself. I hope you enjoyed learning about Duffy, and hopefully, this information will enhance your visit at Tokyo Disney Resort. I do a lot of similar content because I live in Japan, so I hope you'll consider subscribing and giving it a like. May you have a magical day, and I'll see you in the next video!